Hi, I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to give you my top 10 summer for 2022. I am super pumped. We are headed towards the time of year that is just so awesome, relaxing. It finally gets hot in Canada, <laughs> at least in Edmonton. It's been so cold this spring, so I'm really excited about having some warmer weather, and so I want to share with you my top 10 summer. Can't wait to wear these during the warmer months. So before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button, join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. So first fragrance is thanks to all of my wonderful subscribers. So many of you recommended this to me when you heard I wanted a pina colada scent. Do you know what it is? I'm sure you do. It is uh, Angel Iced Star by Mugler. Now this came out in 2020. Uh, a lot of times Mugler puts out um, kind of a summer angel version. So we've had some angel au crociers. There's been a couple different versions of this one. Uh, and then they put out angel iced star. I wonder if they're putting one out this year, or if, uh, if a different one came out last year. Maybe they only do it every couple of years. In any case, this is a beautiful kind of pina colada fragrance. There's a tropical quality to this fragrance. Um, definitely the stars of the show for me is the pineapple and the coconut. But what this kind of reminds me of is uh, like, you know, how sometimes you can get kind of shaved ice or like snow cone ice. Uh, that shaved ice, if it was pina colada flavor, that's what this one would be like. So it's got a, a slight lactonic feel to it because of the coconut, but overall it smells a little bit clear. So this one has pineapple, coconut, praline, vanilla, and patchouli. Now uh, definitely get the patchouli, especially on paper. More on the skin, I'm getting that pineapple and that coconut, and to me it just smells absolutely delicious. Love it. And I especially love this with pineapple sun, I think it's called Pink Pineapple Sunrise by Bath and Body Works. Fantastic combination. Now the only thing that I would say about this one is that it's an EDT, so it doesn't last overly long. Like if you put this one on, it'll last you like let's say five hours, but only for the first hour will it project and then it tends to be more of a skin scent. For me, I don't mind that when it gets really hot outside because I don't want something to over project. So uh, tell, tell me what your experience has been as far as the longevity is concerned on this one. Uh, regardless of the longevity, I'm just really glad I have this because it's totally fun and I want to smell like a big pina colada. Woohoo! Next fragrance that I couldn't live without in the summer is Roi L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. This is a kind of a, a big watery, sweet kind of fruit tea. This one has kiwi, rhubarb, and pink pepper in the opening. Uh, and then the middle notes are watermelon, cyclamen, and jasmine. The base is lemon tree, musk, and sandalwood. So this to me just smells like a big, uh, like mainly watermelon, uh, kind of like a fruit salad with a, a splash of musk. So it's definitely uh, got an, a watery aquatic feel to it. So it's so refreshing, it's sweet, definitely musky, especially in the dry down. I get about five hours out of this one, so I find that it lasts quite a long time. But um, I just love this one in the summer. I find it refreshing, love that melon quality about it. And yeah, this is a great fragrance. Uh, some people find that the longevity is terrible on this one. I get like about five hours, which I think is decent, and it's in the summertime, it's even better. So uh, works for me, but um, yeah, I love this. I find it really refreshing, sweet, feminine, and just uh, kind of relaxing, actually. Next fragrance that I have for you has become one of my favorites in the summer, and it is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Love is Love. Now, I am not a fan of light blue or light blue intense. It's too fresh, it goes weird on my skin. I don't know why, it goes weird on my sister too. Love the way it smells on other people, don't like the way it smells on me or my sister. That said, Love is Love is amazing. I'm such a huge fan of this. So this opens with lemon, Granny Smith apples, and red berries. 
So you definitely get that kind of citrus hit. Middle notes are ice cream, raspberry, and jasmine. Um, I don't really notice the florals, like they're definitely more of a supporting note. And then in the base you have whipped cream, musk, cedar, and amber. You get that light blue DNA just in the opening, and then you get that hint of raspberry in it, and then just a slight lactonic feel. So there's a little bit of that creamy feel. To me, it's not so much an ice cream or a whipped cream, and more um, like a raspberry lemon sorbet is what I get out of this one. I find this one is extremely refreshing and invigorating it's energizing like I just I absolutely love wearing this one now the longevity is actually poor on this one as well but uh, that said again I don't really like heavy fragrances in the summer so this one works great now the next fragrance is actually a powerhouse it's gonna last you all day and it is Trisardi Donna I love this fragrance as you guys know it's one of my favorite uh, one of my subscribers said that this is a freshie for non-freshy lovers, and I would absolutely agree with this. So in the opening, you get fruity notes, yuzu, and amalfi lemon, um, and you definitely get that kind of sweet, uh, tart lemon uh, paired with that, you know, the fruits, which kind of adds to that sweetness. So it's, it's like, um, you know how sometimes, actually my mouth is watering just talking about it. You know how you sometimes get a lemon and it's super tart, but there's a bit of sweetness to it because it's just perfectly ripe. That's uh, what this smells like to me in the opening. The middle notes are jasmine, African orange flower, and lotus. And then the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and Virginia cedar. This one stays pretty linear. I love the fact that that lemon note lasts throughout the whole entire experience of the perfume. That said, you start to get a little bit more of that vanilla uh, and maybe a little bit of that cedar more in the dry down. So I love this. What it reminds me of is like if you took a big huge peony and it was, uh, you know how peony uh, petals are kind of fluffy and roughly? That's what this smells like. It smells like if, if a, a peony could smell like lemons and the, the petals were like uh, kind of a light pastel yellow and white, that's what this smells like to me. So this smells kind of f fluffy somehow. Uh, there's a bit of sweet, uh, almost like a creamy uh, aspect to it with that vanilla. So although this one is tart and citrus in the opening, there's a bit of that creaminess, almost smells a little bit like lemon pie filling in a lemon meringue pie. Kind of gives me that feel, but not the pie part. So just that filling. Um, kind of like that. So that lemon yuzu vanilla combo, just amazing. This is super classy. It will last you all day. Uh, very feminine. It has great projection. This is just a phenomenal fragrance and it's extremely affordable. Plus the bottle's phenomenal. So this is a massive win for me. Love this fragrance and it just really shines in the summer. The next fragrance that I have to share with you is Le Vieux Belle Leclat and this one is the Eau de Parfum. So first of all, this bottle, like with the facets in it, I just think it's so beautiful. Um, this one has orange and bergamot in the opening. I think there's freesia in here as well. Uh, and then there's lots of florals in here, but what stands out is the orange blossom. And the base, you're getting the patchouli, sandalwood, and vanilla. Uh, so this one, I find that the the citrus, like that juicy kind of awesome citrus, stays the whole entire length of the perfume. So a lot of times I find citrus perfumes, the it starts to wear off and you're left with your base. This one, I can smell that juiciness pretty much the whole entire time, which I love. It comes a little bit more into the background at about the two hour mark and you get more of that orange blossom. Uh, so that kind of is the main kind of star is that orange blossom and then near the dry down you're getting that vanilla. This one, the longevity, isn't as good as the original Le Vie Belle, uh, but I think it it's still really great. Like I got about six, six hours out of it. 
Um, it projects really nicely as well. There's a powdery quality to this one. It's very feminine. It's sweet. It's juicy. It's fun for the summer, uh, but it's definitely more floral. So if you uh, like more of that praline aspect of La Vie Belle, this one doesn't have that. That said, you still get that feminine, girly, juicy deliciousness, and guys really enjoy this fragrance. So really excited to wear this one. Next fragrance that I have for you to share is Versace Versace. I'm super excited to wear this one for the summer. Uh, it's one of my more green fragrances and I just love the color. I love this bottle. I love everything about this, this presentation actually. Like the bottle is just so beautiful. Uh, the fragrance definitely green and aromatic, but it still has a hint of sweetness to it. The notes in this one are citruses, green mandarin, fig, and pear, which is bizarre. Um, then it has cardamom, lily, jasmine, and narcissus in the mid, and cedar, olive tree, musk, and sandalwood in the base. So what I get out of this one, honestly, it smells like limes to me. Limes or bergamot is what I'm getting. So I'm not really getting uh, mandarin, but the idea of it being a green mandarin, maybe. I don't, I don't really notice the fig. This one, um, it's green and aromatic enough uh, that I can see some people finding this smelling masculine and almost like a cologne. That said, there's still this sweet kind of delicious quality. This one kind of goes a little bit woody and a little bit um, musky in the dry down. The longevity on this one isn't great, like it's like three-ish hours, uh, which I kind of again expect with a green more citrus fragrance. Um, I bought this one because I got it for 20 bucks. I think if I were to choose a um, green fragrance, I would pass on this one and go for Chanel Chance Au Fresh. That one is just absolutely beautiful, smells really green, smells similar to this one in the opening, but then the dry down is kind of a woody vanilla uh, fragrance, but it still has the, that, um, you know, kind of green, um, that green kind of undercurrent. So I just find that that one is beautiful and the longevity on it is fantastic. So maybe sniff both and see which one you like. Which one do you like? Do you have both of them? If so, which is your favorite? Uh, regardless, I'm excited to wear this one in the summer. I think it'll just be so nice and refreshing. Next fragrance that I'm totally excited to rock in the summer is Le Petit Robe Noir Légère or Hippie Chic. So this one is one of the umpteen flankers that La Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain has. Uh, this one, it, it, you still get that DNA uh, of La Petite Robe Noir, but they've added kind of like, there's, there's peony, so a sweet floral with raspberry in this one. And I just think it's really beautiful. The licorice uh, aspect of La Petite Robe Noir is a, a, a little pared down in this one. This one is sweet. It's kind of what I consider delicate. So it's it's like you put it on and it's like just sweet and seems really linear, but you get just beautiful whiffs of it all day. Like the, the longevity on this one is really quite fantastic, but it's not overpowering or cloying, even though it's just a delicious, sweet, kind of more decadent fragrance, uh, it's not cloying. So this one has sour cherry, almond, rose water, lime, and lemon in the opening. And then the middle notes are black tea, rose, raspberry, licorice, peony, and peach. And the base is tonka, vanilla, violet, patchouli, and white musk. So definitely um, it, it stays pretty linear and what you smell in the opening is what you get. So it's just kind of a sweet, um, you can smell that cherry, you can smell a, a hint of that you can smell a hint of that um, almond for sure. Uh, I get a little bit of that raspberry and then kind of more of a peony rather than a rose in this one. So such a pretty fragrance, very feminine, kind of flirty, very girly. Uh, and I think that this one is so, so beautiful. Love it. And I love this bottle. It's just so gorgeous. Okay, one of my favorites for summer is So Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now, um, this one is raspberry tuberose and milk. So where this one is raspberry and whipped cream and smells more like a sorbet, this one definitely smells almost grapey. 
So lots of people think that this one smells like L'Enterdie uh, by Givenchy. Um, I find I, I can see where they get that because of that tube rose, but the raspberry is so tart and delicious. It's a little bit more candy-like rather than like a realistic raspberry. Very sweet, so you get kind of almost almost a grapey type feel with this one. Um, there's, you know, it says it has milk in it. It would be like maybe a couple drops or like a, a dollop of milk. It doesn't smell milky to me, uh, but it just makes it. It just kind of brings a little bit more grounded to it. So instead of it being fully bright, there's a little bit of just kind of uh, softness to this fragrance. The full breakdown of the notes are raspberry, tuberose, milk, orange blossom, and jasmine. So um, definitely the tuberose and the raspberry are the stars of this show. And I just think it's totally fun. Totally fun. Fun flirty, cheery, and I really find this one energizing. As you can see, I've worn it a ton and will definitely, like I can see myself almost finishing this bottle by the end of the summer. Now, number nine on my list is a new one again, and I'm so pumped about this one. It's La Nuit Trésor Nude. Now, I couldn't smell this one anywhere in the store, so I was, I just, I decided to blind buy it and it turned out absolutely fabulous. So this one, I was a little bit shocked, you know, cause I knew there was coconut in this one, but when I first smelt it, I'm like, that's bizarre. It actually, I can smell the La Nuit Trésor in it. It's a softer, um, it's just a softer kind of pared down version. So this one in the opening, you have bergamot, in the mid you have rose, and then the base is coconut and vanilla. So I definitely get, just a hint of that bergamot in the opening. It's not like a massive citrus, but there's a bit of brightness that comes. Um, the rose to me is just kind of in the background, but you know how Lancome just does rose well? Same thing with this one. So it's not overpowering. It's more of a supporting note for that coconut and vanilla. Um, this, this one, if you are a fan of vanillic fragrances and you just crave vanilla all summer, but they're too heavy, definitely give this one a try. This one is a beautiful coconut vanilla. I definitely get the coconut in here, but it doesn't smell like there's no sunscreen aspect to this one. There's no, uh, sort of, there's no sort of like beachy vibe with this one. This one smells elegant. I think one of my sus subscribers used the word elegant for this, and it's just the perfect description. This is an elegant, grown woman, sexy coconut fragrance. This is one that you could wear during the day, but it's really, really like quite sensual. So I think that this makes a perfect date night fragrance. Um, I've worn it all day long and I just really enjoy it. it. It has less longevity than the original. I get about five hours out of this one, but when it dries down on your skin even longer than five hours, you're going to just smell kind of a sweet uh, vanilla coconut as a skin scent and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I love this one. I think it's sexy, sophisticated, sensual and elegant. Elegant is the best word ever for this one. You know, some perfumes, you know, you want them to smell fun. This one isn't a fun fragrance. It's a classy fragrance. It smells like a perfume. So it's, even though it's vanilla and gourmand, um, it, there's still this perfume quality, uh, to it, but it's just, it, I, I, it, it's just gorgeous. I love this one. Last fragrance for the summer that I can't wait to wear, total top 10, is Alien Eau Sublime. I love this fragrance. This gives it to you the DNA of Alien, but um, there's this solar quality to it. Um, yeah, there's a solar kind of sunscreeny quality to this one. Uh, but still like super, super sexy. So the top notes in this one are lemon, solar notes, mandarin, orange, orange, and galvanum. The middle notes are jasmine, tiare, flower, orange blossom, heliotrope, and cherry blossom. And then the base is cashmere, white amber, vanilla, and vetiver. Now this one, it, it opens with just that beautiful solar quality and some citrus. So you're definitely getting that citrus. Um, it's a little bit more of a tart,
tart, bright citrus rather than a warm, but with that solar note, it, kind of that sunscreen aspect, it just, it does actually feel warm. And then, although it has that alien DNA, to me, you still get that tiara flower quality in this one. So basically to me, this is the ultimate summertime version of Alien. If you love Alien and you love kind of sunscreeny beach fragrances, this is gonna be your girl. It's absolutely phenomenal. So you can't, you can't go wrong with this one. I like this one way better than Alien Eau Extraordinaire, although that one's nice too. This one has better performance than Eau Extraordinaire and Eau Extraordinaire is kind of more of a clear um, tea-like version of Alien and, and to me I can't smell it after about half hour. This one you smell all day. This one just adds Alien with sunscreen and some tiara. It smells borderline like it could have coconut in it or you could mix it with coconut. Uh, I just think that this is gorgeous. Super kind of refreshing but also relaxing at the same time. Love this one. And that is it. Those are my top 10 for the summer. I can't wait to rock all of these. What are your top fragrances for the summer? Let's say top three. What are you really pumped about wearing for the summer months? I would love to know. Please leave it in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have a fantastic week and we'll talk to you soon.